Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Amen. Bless the Lord all our soul. Amen. Thus we bless his holy name on tonight. Amen. Why? Because he continued to do great things for us. Amen. 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 Thanks be to God to give us us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And it is good, amen, for us to come together once again in unity and another night of Bible study. Amen. And we thank God for those of you that are on with us live, those of you that may even be watching this recording. Amen. We pray that not only tonight, but uh, all of our Bible studies are a blessing to you. Yes, sir. Amen. Start our Bible study on tonight. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Amen. And we're going to ask that you submit your prayer requests. Amen. We those prayer requests. I ask if uh, I, uh, uh, I'm going to ask if, if she's if she's willing on tonight. Uh, we would like for uh, Minister Carwell, being that you're with us on tonight. Uh, Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. What happened? Mr. Carl, you still there? We want. Uh, we after we received the prayer request, we wanted you to lead us in prayer. Yeah, she's not going outside. Miss Carr, did you hear me? Yeah. What did you say? Did you, I wanted you to lead us in prayer tonight. Okay. I just got off the phone with Elsa. Made us why I didn't hear everything you said. She said it was what what the Lord said is true. Oh my Lord! All right. So we're yeah. going to pray together with you on tonight in regards yeah. to. Amen. All right, we're going to take Amen. a request. Amen. Amen. We've, we've, we've gotten some news in regards to Elder Jackie uh, Smith on tonight. Amen. In Columbus, Ohio. Amen. We know what the doc, the doctors may be trying to prognose and, the, and diagnose, but we know that God has the final say. And he's able to turn anything around. Amen. Yes. And I believe God. Amen. Do I have a witness on the line? Amen. 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 So we're believing that the, that God's will, Amen. It's going to be done. Amen. Yeah. And, and, and we 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 believe in God in advance for His healing. Amen. 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 Uh, any other uh, requests? Come on and share with us at this time. Yes. First of all, I like I like to for all of us just to continue uplifting our past and our first lady. Because we can continue praying for their strength and endurance because both of them are working inside and outside of the church ministry and mm -hmm. in the community. So let's continue praying for their strength. Not only pastor working outside, now he got, got to come in here and give us what thus says the Lord. So let's continue praying for his strength, strength as well as the first lady. I also like for us to continue praying for Bishop Simmons. Bishop Simmons yeah. now is going through, you know, his treatment for the day. He postponed it yesterday. But so let's continue praying for him as well. Also, once again, I'd like to submit uh, the names of Sister Michelle and uh, Paradise Jr. I mean, <laughs> Michelle Jr., Paradise. Only her good friends call her Paradise. And I'm one of her good, very good friends. <laughs> I also like, listen, it was a blessing to my spirit to see Elder Robert show out there today. Amen. Like they say, if you want to get rich, hang around somebody that's rich. If you want longevity, good health, and strength, hang around those that got it, and God will bless you with it. So let's continue. <laughs> let's continue praying for all our elders because we need our elders for guidance, not That's only right. spiritually but but mentally as well. And I would like for us to continue praying for Deacon Shaw. He's one of those ones that no matter what he's going through, what the song say, he does not complain. So let's let's. Put it, keep him up in prayer as well. God bless you. Thanks a lot. Amen. I'd like to pray for all the children in the world. I would like to pray for peace in the Middle East. I want to pray for all the first ladies, the, the, the pastors, and, and all the missionaries and evangelists in the world. I want to pray for the sanctified church. I want to pray for the Williams, Jones, Riley, Davis, Ford, Latham's family. Amen. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me, Sister Wanda and Frankie. Yes, yes. Amen. Uh, we are, also have uh, some prayer requests in the chat, in the chat group. Uh, okay. Please pray for uh, the James, the Best, the Brown, the Johnson, and the Williams, and the Pickett families. 
Amen. Amen. On tonight. Amen. 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 We want to echo that uh, the sentiments uh, that uh, uh, the things which did uh, Deacon Late this year. I thank God for my father uh, being out to them today. He actually yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. It worked, and he was with us. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. He was just with. He was, and he was standing straight up too. Oh my. Yes. 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 Yes, he was. Amen. Ninety. I'm telling you, I'm just really. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Amen. God be praised. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and so we, yes, we do want to continue to, to pray for His strength. Amen. Amen. And Amen. 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 Any other request? Come on and share real quick. Amen. God bless you. I just may just lay them. I just want to pray for all of the families right now is families is going through too much and and they be divided division among families so i just like to pray for all families to show love and support to each other god bless y'all amen. Amen. amen amen don't forget pray for our family and stuff all right amen, amen. Uh, praise the lord everybody god praise bless you digging me and Jackie are very close, so I'm not going through the best right now. But I know that he's in God's hands. Yeah. And more right. so, you know, I want to pray for Jack, but I want to pray for Jackie's family. Yes, absolutely. You know, what they're doing. Amen. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everybody that know us as a Walmart family know how close we are. We're a very close, tight-knit family. And, you know, we know that we want Jackie, but God's will is going to be done. Amen. You know, no matter what we feel or we're going through. So we Amen. want, when I say the Womack family, my family knows who we're talking about. Amen. So you know what I'm saying? Jackie's kids and me, Sugar, I'm in Minister Caldwell, my sister Wanda. We 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 cousins, but we like sisters and brothers. All right. Amen. So we want y'all to uh well sit there going to do the prayer to reach out to our family. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I have a prayer request. Okay. Um, mine is that there be more understanding and comprehension and clarity that God is the creator of all things first and foremost, but it'd be more understanding in the medical field and know that he he's the creator of it all. And in mm -hmm. order to know something really to its depth, you have to go to the source and to not change what kind of people and person in the medical field that God has created to, like, to be if that if I'm making any sense because I know like okay. lately my does that am I making any sense to anyone? Yes, 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 yes. Um, and for also for people to be careful of what they watch and to not take it lightly for it to for them to see that it's not it's not funny. Of course. You can have a sense of humor, humor, and everybody has their own sense of humor, and we all find different things funny. But there are certain things that are not funny, and we have to be careful of what we support and what we watch and what we're like. Un we're okay with unintentionally and unaware, because there's a lot of things that are going on and when you pay close, even in cartoons, when you pay close attention, you're like, wait a minute, no. Yeah, cartoons are off the hook. <laughs> yeah, because um, even with, uh, I don't know if anyone knows about what's going on with the uh, with the D Disney company and Nickelodeon. Oh, oh yes. yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Amen, amen. But that, that's not been now, that's been for years. If yes. you look up what Nickelodeon means, yes. it means uh, it's it yeah, it breaks it down of we're anti God and we do as we please. Mm. Mm. All right. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But to, just because I, I to just be very careful of what we support and what we're okay with, and we just, um, yeah, we're just with this attitude of it's not going to change. So okay, continue supporting it. Get from over here. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. That makes sense. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Um, before we go into prayer. Amen. Yes. Um. This is. Um. I would like prayer for all of my family, and I'd like a special prayer for my daughter, Danette Bess. Amen. Amen. Danette Bess. God bless you. I believe she's on with us tonight too. Amen. We believe in you. Thank you, James. Thank God for you. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us all put our mind together and let's begin to pray. Amen. You know, just trust God trust to do everything yeah. that we need done on today. Yeah. Yeah. Let's come to you on today, God. Yes. God, I come to you as well as I know how on today, God. Trusting yes. and believing, God, that there's a miracle for Cousin Jackie, God. Yeah. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, God. Jesus. God I know sometimes our healing is not on this side, God. Yeah. Sometimes we need to God to get our healing, God. But yeah. we're trusting you, God, whatever we know yeah. you're going to do nothing wrong, God. We're yeah. asking you to be your will, God, in yeah. the name yeah. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God. I need to work a miracle in his life, God. Yeah. Oh, glory yeah. be to God. Yeah. But we ask you to watch his children, yes. his whole family, God, as a whole, God. Strengthen yes. him for whatever the outcome may be, yes. God. We thanking you right now in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. God. We're thanking you, God. We know yes. we've been made. Hallelujah, you endure for our night. But yes. God, we know we will come in the morning, God. Yes. We never. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 That will be done, Lord. You are a miracle worker. Hallelujah. Lord. God. And God, I heard the young lady said to give her understanding, God. Hallelujah. We Jesus. ask for understanding right now in the name of Jesus, God. Yeah, yeah, we ask yeah, you yeah. for wisdom, God, not only for the spiritual, but the natural things that we got to go through. Yeah, to help us go through this world, God. We yeah. asking you right yeah. now to yeah. touch each and everybody that's on this that's line. Yeah. On today, God. Yeah. Remember our children, God, regardless how grown they may get, God, uh, but they're still yeah, our children, yeah. God. We asking that's you right yeah. now, God, to, to bless our children, our grandchildren, yeah. Some of us you get them out of the streets or whatever they're doing, God. Give them the mind God, to yeah. want to be saved. God. That's what yeah. it's going to take. They got to have the mind and want to be yeah. saved, God. Yeah. And we're asking yeah. you right now, God, to bless Shallow, God. We're asking yeah. you to send special yeah. miracles, special yeah. blessings up in that church, God. Yeah. And God yeah. send, send some willing workers in the church to help out God. Yeah. God, we ask you, God, to continue to strengthen him and his wife right now in the yes. name of Jesus. Oh, continue yes. to bring the blessings upon him, God. Give him a double portion of your Holy yes. Ghost, God. Yes, Lord. Right now, God, to read that or save, save us some more, God. Yes. Hallelujah. We need more today, God, because that's what it's going to take, God. Mm -hmm. All that's going on in this world, God, and we know yes. that it won't be done unless you do it, God. Yes. So many. Things is out here, God. And the devil, he's trying to destroy us all, God. Yeah. But we know that you are strong the devil, God. And we ask you, God, hallelujah, to watch over us as we sleep at night, God. Yes, God. Good, God. And morning yes, to be here, we will bring yes, us a great day, God. Huh? Jesus, God, for all of us, God, because we all we're going through and we ask you to give us the power, God, hallelujah, and the strength to go through whatever we might have to go, God. We asking you right now, God, to strengthen us more, God. Not only now, God, stop it in Minds, God. Because the devil tried to play with your mind, God. Huh? He knew if he can attack the mind, God, that he got us, God. We know you have all power in your hands, God. We thank you, 
for our life, God. We thank you right now for what you want to do, Lord. For what you want to take us, God. Sometimes we set up in our house, God. We wonder what the next move is. But God, we know you got it all in control, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. God. Those times, God, when evil was around, God, and we didn't know it. But you watched over us, God. You kept us from seeing and unseen danger. And I thank you right now, God. We be Praise, but God, Jesus, Jesus, wonderful, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, 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 that thou will be done, Lord. Continue to bless each and every one of God, huh? We ask you to continue to bless the and claim of God in the name of Jesus, God. And whoever name I didn't call God, we ask you, hallelujah, to have a special blessing for him, God. I ask for a special blessing over my life, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, if he took God, I thank you, God. I like money, God, but I would prefer a special blessing, a spiritual blessing, God. Oh, glory be to God, I thank you right now, God. Oh, glory be to God, I thank you, God. Hallelujah, when we down it out here, God. You bring us up, you lift us up, God. We can't worry about tomorrow, God, but we gotta worry about today. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to thank thank God because time is winding up. People are dying every day. Some people die without you, God. But I ask you, God, to bless each and every one that's on here, God. We feel all of your spirit, God. We need you more and more every day. I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's a mind. Oh, God, we haven't risen yet, God. We haven't arrived, God. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. God, save me, Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, God. Anything in our life, God, is not like you, God. We ask you to purge it away, God. We ask you to renew our strength, God. Oh, God, create a clean heart within us, God. And let us know, God, when we do things that we shouldn't do, God. Oh, God, we ask you right now for conviction, God. Oh, glory be to God. We ask you right now, God. Oh, glory be to God. We're thanking you, God, for everything that you're going to do in our life, God. God. Oh, we haven't seen what you can do, God. We're looking for great, awesome things within you. We're taking yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God, for an overflow, God, I thank you, God. An overflow of spiritual life. We take it, God. Because there's nothing too hard for you, God. Uh, you that in your name, God. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you right now. Remember my sister, Pookie, God. Remember her, Lord Jesus, in the name of God. Remember my family as a whole. Remember my husband, God. Remember, hallelujah, unspoken requests that have not been made on today. Uh, oh, Lord, God, we're taking you right now. In the name of Jesus. We trust you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 That's yes, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Work your miracle, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, Father. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And if he don't do it, we know that he can. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Yes.
We love you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. Amen. 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 We shall rise above it all. Rise above it all. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the time. His mercies endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Gina, yeah. I spoke with my cousin Elsie on the other day, and she was telling me, really, she didn't say too much, but she was just saying, uh -uh. God's still working miracles. She said, I, yeah. God said, she said, I asked God one day, I know you're not ready for my brother. She said, mm -hmm. I don't want him to go. I said, Elsa, I said, you know what? She said, I know I'm being selfish. I said, that's the same way we thought about David. We didn't mm -hmm. want him to go. Sometimes we can be selfish. We don't know what they're going through in their bodies. We don't know yes, what they're going through. And we still want them here. Yes, you know, sometimes you just yeah. got to tell God, whatever your will be, and we just have to accept it. Nobody's ready to see their loved one pass away. No, but we didn't come here to stay. Mm -hmm. We didn't come here to stay. And, you know, we mm -hmm. just got to tell God, Whatever way you work it out, God, just make us satisfied. Yeah. We're never really satisfied with things, but we have to ask God to make us satisfied. We have to be yes, satisfied with whatever way oh, God yeah. works out for us. As yes, being yes, as we don't want our loved ones to pass away. Yeah. No. They can be 80, 90 years old, and they'll live the life. We still don't want them to go. We still want so them, we yes, ma'am. Yes, ma who's in control. We yes. got to remember who's in control. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. God, yeah. God is in control. And thank you, Lord. God is calling oh, Lord. You know what's best for us, Lord. Yes, you oh, do. Lord. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, beloveds. Amen. We know that. The hours far spent, we started a little late, but we're going to get right into our Bible study lesson for tonight. Amen. Amen. And we're continuing. Uh, we're continuing our study on the spiritual gift series. All right. We're continuing our study uh, on the spiritual gift series. And we Ooh. All right, and we're going to be talking and dealing with tonight uh, uh, on the exercise of the spiritual gifts, the exercise of the spiritual gifts, amen, this is actually our, um, um, oh, my computer's doing something a little weird here, just bear with me for one moment, um, okay, all right, we got it, we got it, all right. Exercise of the spiritual gifts. This is a part of our spiritual gift series over which we've been teaching uh, for the past uh, two, three weeks. But this is going to be part four tonight. The exercise of the spiritual gifts. That's going to be our Bible study for tonight. I encourage you to get your uh, notepad, piece of paper, amen, and, and your Bibles, amen, because we're going to be going to the Word also, too. And I don't know if it's me or I barely can hear you. I don't know if it may just be me. Okay, it could be. It, it could be. I'm talking a little low. Could you hear me better? A little you better. Keep breaking up with God. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to speak up a little bit. Let me turn this mic. Okay. Up a little bit. Even when the prayer was going forth, it was cutting off. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try to speak up to I turned the mic up a little bit there, too. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, now, in dealing with and uh, talking about the exercise of the spiritual gifts, we need to understand the availability of the spiritual gifts. Availability of spiritual gifts. 
First uh, Corinthians chapter one, verse two, and also verses five through seven says it like this, to the church of God, which is at Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all who eat in every place, call on the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. You are enriched in everything by him and all utterance and all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. So that what? So that you come short and no gift, eagerly mm -hmm. waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, that's 1 Corinthians chapter, verse number, verse number. Amen. Amen. Now, first, what we must do, beloved, is we must we must understand uh, the availability of the spiritual gifts. We need to understand the availability of the spiritual gifts. And to, to put that simply is that God has given gifts to the church. God has given the gifts to the church, spiritual gifts. And the purpose of the gifts is that they are intended for every local body of believers uh, uh, until the return of the Lord Jesus Christ for his bride, the church. All right, now according uh, to 1 Corinthians 1 and 2, Paul wrote this epistle, an epistle is a letter. He wrote this letter not only to the church of Jesus Christ at Corinth, but also to all in every place calling on the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. And these words describe every local body of believers without limits or space of time. Moreover, in that same chapter, if you go down to verse number seven, it affirms that the readers are to possess all the spiritual gifts until what? Until when? Until the second coming. We're we're to possess all the spiritual gifts until the second coming. Glory to God. Amen. It says it like this. I'm going to go there. Amen. Verse number seven of 1 Corinthians chapter one. It says this here. So that what? So that ye, so that you are behind in no gift. All right. He, God didn't want backing in no gift, but what? But waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. All right, so we're to possess those spiritual gifts. And clearly, hear this on today, clearly then the discussion of spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians, and we've talked about it in our previous Bible study lessons, in chapters 12 through 14, that applies, in fact, to every Christian congregation from apostolic times to the end, to the end of the present age. All right? Now, uh, some people... Uh, such as tra tra traditional Protestants, they believe that supernatural gifts ceased with the apostles or shortly thereafter. And the reformed Martin Luther and John Calvin also uh, held this view. Others, such as Roman Catholics, believe that, too, that miracles still occur, but do not generally expect them to happen or occur in their local church setting. And even charismatics typically do not expect the church as a whole to experience these Yes. First Corinthians does what though? It depicts and tells us that every local body of believers, as, as it describes us as being filled with the Spirit and in fact experiencing supernatural gifts. The scripture's purpose, uh, the scriptural purpose, if you will, uh, and the need for spiritual gifts does not end with the apostolic age, nor can we restrict the purpose and the need for them in certain locations. Now, while the church is universal, every local extension of the church should seek and expect the operation of supernatural gifts for as long as the church is in this world. And when the Lord returns for his church, hear this on tonight, there will be no further purpose for the gifts of the spirit. <clears throat> we will not need miracles no more. And healings. Why? Because in the resurrection, the word of God lets us know that we're going to have a glorified, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, a mortal body, if you will. We will not need the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. Why? Because in eternity, we will possess the fullness of divine wisdom and knowledge. Thank you, Lord. And until then, and only until then, however, we need the gifts of the spirit. Glory to God. 
Now, everyone who is filled, in fact, with the Spirit can potentially operate in any of these gifts. Why? Because they come from what? The Spirit of God. Not every individual operate in every gift. For the Spirit does what? It distributes to each one individually as he wills. Glory mm -hmm. to God. At, at, when, it, when the scripture talks about as he wills, it's as God desires. He distributes it. He gives it to everybody. Amen. As he so desires. But in every congregation needs to actualize the potential for the gifts. And not everyone's going to prophesy or speak in tongues to the whole congregation, for instance. But hear this on tonight. But every spirit-filled person has the potential for doing so. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 31 talks about it. It talks about it. And each individual should be open to any manifestation that God chooses. Glory to God. Listen, that brings me to my next point. There should be a desiring of spiritual gifts. Desiring of spiritual gifts. The scripture says it like this in, in, in 1 Corinthians 12, 31 and also 14, 1. Earnestly desire what? We need to desire the best gift. Amen. Desire. We need to desire spiritual gifts. Glory to God. We should. How should we do this? We should be actively desiring mm -hmm. to seek all the mm -hmm. Actively desire to seek all all the gifts of the spirit. Now, while 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 31 speaks of the best gift, listen, it does not identify, in fact, which gifts are the best. Some may suppose that only a few of the nine gifts are superior and therefore desirable. But would God present us with a list of nine gifts and then tell us to seek only a few of them? No, would the spirit grant some, uh, uh, some gifts that are not desirable? And only listen, and the, and the and the only indication is that a special gift is better than any and another. And First Corinthians does this. It describes chapter fourteen. It describes prophecy as superior to tongues in public meetings, and it also too underscores the value of tongues in private devotion. However, it, it discloses that tongues is equally uh, equal to prophecy in public meetings when there is an interpretation. If you make a footnote of that. We talked about this in previous Bible studies, but mark that down. First Corinthians chapter 14, and you could read it for yourself. Amen. Now, uh, from this treatment, it appears that the best gift, the best gift can vary depending, in fact, on the circumstance. Uh, the best gift is the only, is the one most important, appropriate, and needed at that particular moment. Uh, to desire the best gift, then, is to do what? It's to seek whatever gifts are most important for our church at the time. And we need to be praying for the Lord to do what? To bestow them according to his perfect knowledge in our situation. Thank you, Lord. Christians should be sensitive to the leading of God's spirit so that they're available for any manifestation God chooses. Glory to God. I'm reminded of scripture. You can make a footnote of this. Amen. Isaiah 55, when, when God was speaking to the prophet Isaiah, he let him know it. He said, for his ways were not even our ways, neither his thoughts or our thoughts, for his ways are higher than ours and his thoughts are higher than ours. Glory to God. God's going to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Glory to God. And hear this on tonight. They should not limit uh, 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 they're thinking to what they have experienced or even observed in the past, but each of them should be open, amen, amen, to the best gift for the occasion. I'm talking to spirit-filled believers on tonight. Glory to God, amen. Listen, as an example, hear this. If corporate worship reaches a holy pause in which the spirit seeks to communicate with the congregation in a special way, each member should be doing what? You should be yielding yourself to God, realizing that although God will not use everyone at this time, he wants to use someone. Glory to God. And if a person speaks to the church in tongues, everyone should be praying for the interpretation, anticipating that perhaps God will use him or her. And in a course of counseling, even a pastor, even too, may reach an impasse in which no solution seems possible. And in that particular instance, if a pastor is dealing with a situation where it may seem like there's not a possible solution in a situation, the pastor should be praying and have faith for a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge. Glory to God. 
and perhaps uh, serious trouble or even also to confusion may even arise in the congregation, but the cause may not be clear. The pastor, the pastor should, in fact, do what? Should seek God for the discerning of spirits. Glory to God. Now, and as needs arise, and even as God impresses us, we can believe and pray for specific gifts. We can believe and we can pray for specific gifts. And when we yield to the spirit, hear this all tonight. When you yield to the spirit, God will work through us as he sees fit. Glory to God. And if he chooses not to act miraculously at a given time, we'll guess what? We're just as we prayed even on tonight. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We will continue to walk by faith. Glory to God. And, and in us walking by faith, we'll recognize what? That God knows things we do not and makes plans even beyond our understanding. Glory to God. And he gives his perfect knowledge uh, 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 of the situation. He may not choose to act as we expect due to attitudes or even circumstances we can and may not even be able to see. He may use mm -hmm. someone else or he may work in a different way altogether. And in some cases, a lack of faith or surrender on our part may hinder his work and we must learn to be more responsive in the future. Help us, Lord. Listen, uh, I want to make this point too. Gifts, you need to write this down. Gifts are not a sign of spiritual maturity. Gifts are not a sign of spiritual maturity. We're going to explain. The word of God tells us in Acts chapter 3, verse 12, men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why do you look so intently at us as though by our own power or godliness we have made this man walk? Amen. See, the disciples, they understood Amen. The, the, the tension shouldn't be uh, on them. Amen. Even though the spirit of God was working uh, 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 upon in them and through them. Amen. But the tension wasn't on them. Glory to God. Amen. Listen, uh, while we must desire spiritual gifts and learn to open our lives to them, we must realize that in itself, the exercise of spiritual gifts is not necessarily a sign of spiritual maturity. This concept, in fact, what it do, it, it surprises many people because they wrongly assume that if God uses a person in a miraculous way, then that person must be extraordinarily spiritual. Glory to God. Help us, Lord. The spiritual gifts, however, are true gifts, and they come freely by God's grace. Thank you, Lord. And as we have seen, uh, the Greek word gift in 1 Corinthians uh, 12, it's charisma which is closely related to charis, the word for grace. And by definition, a gift is not something that a person has purchased or earned. You can write that down. A gift is not something that a person has purchased or earned. The, also to the quality of a gift. The quality of a gift, it reveals little or nothing about the recipient, but it can indicate much about the giver. Well, uh -oh, help us, Lord. If a gift is expensive or elaborate, the recipient could be a rich or, a rich or, 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 or poor, deserving or undeserving, uh, noble or, or, or ignoble character. And what we learn from such a gift is what? Is that the giver has a substantial resources, in fact. The giver has what? Substantial resources. That's why they're able to give the gift. They got some type of resources in order to give the gift. And it's a greatly interested in the recipient. Glory to God. So it is with the spiritual gifts. So it is with the spiritual gifts. An awesome display of spiritual gifts should remind us of what? Of how powerful and gracious God is. Thank you, Lord. Should not focus on the individual who receives the gifts, concluding that he is a great prophet or the most spiritual person in the church. Of course, it is evident that he has faith for the gift, <laughs> earned to yield to God's spirit. That's why God gave him the gift. Glory to God, because he yielded. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. We can, however, appreciate his sensitivity in this area, but he may or may not have the same degree of faith and surrender in other areas in his life. 
And according to Jesus, hear this on today. Some people will have faith to prophesy, cast mm -hmm. out demons, to do wonders in his name. Yet because of their disobedience to the will of God, they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 27. Read it for yourself. Glory to God. It's possible then, hear this on tonight. It's possible then for someone to receive and exercise a spiritual gift, yet adhere to a false doctrine or to participate even in a sinful practice. And we find in Acts chapter 3, multitudes of people, what did they do? They gathered around Peter and John in response to the healing of the lame man. And what did Peter do? Peter admonished them he, not to think of this miracle occurring because of the apostles' own power or holiness, but he pointed the people to Jesus Christ. Oh, bless God. And in other words, and in other words, glory to God. Amen. The miracle did not indicate that Peter and John were more spiritual than, uh, than someone else. They prayed in the name of Jesus. They exercised faith in him, and he performed the work. The same principle is true with respect to expressions even of our worship. Thank you, Lord. If someone dances, glory to God, in the spirit, a false prostrate on the floor under the power of God, we learn nothing, in fact, about his spiritual status. Amen? Amen. I don't care how much they may shout, jump, dance, scream, holler. You don't know. You, you have learned nothing about their spiritual status. Often, the most spiritual person worships the most freely, though. Now, on the other hand, sometimes the most carnal person worship freely, too, as well, enjoying emotional experience, the attention of others or both. Sometimes notoriously inconsistent people, what happens? They receive dramatic blessings in worship. Perhaps God blesses them in so greatly of a way because that is what they needed to stay in the church and because that it took extraordinary measures to draw them closer to him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. In such cases, we simply acknowledge that the greatness of God's mercy uh, uh, the, uh, and his grace. And in short, when we see a noticeable spiritual manifestation, we recognize that the individual has yielded to God at this point. And he has learned to, in fact, to be sensitive to the spirit, to surrender to his will, to lay aside his inhibitions, his agendas. Glory to God. Amen. His ego. Glory to God. And take God, in fact, at his word to have faith to, for God to bless him. These qualities, in fact, are admirable. And when applied to all areas of life, they will result, in fact, in spiritual maturity. We cannot draw any further conclusion, beloveds, about the individual's life or doctrine, however. He may be spiritual, mature, or immature. A spiritual gift or a manifestation is no sign of spiritual maturity, nor is it an endorsement of the total person. The gift simply reveals how great God is. Amen? Amen. Amen. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. It's all about God. Amen. And, and attention, amen, should be drawn to God. And we need to understand, listen, us understanding this principle will lead to a greater exercise of spiritual gifts. That's what we're talking about on tonight a greater exercise of spiritual gifts. And when people hear this on tonight, when people stop focusing on their inability or lack of qualifications and instead begin to focus on the grace and power of God, it becomes easier for them to have faith with spiritual gifts. Moreover, perhaps God limits or withholds some gifts in certain situations. Why? Because people are people who are prone to misunderstand them or exaggerate even their significance. And since the Spirit always exalts Jesus, there will be a greater freedom and manifestation of the Spirit when people do not allow the spiritual gifts to result in, hear this on tonight, when you don't allow the spiritual gifts to result in pride, hero worship, endorsements, or false doctrines or lifestyles. Help us, Lord. Glory to God. That brings us to the next point, yielding to the spirit. Glory to God. And us exercising the spiritual gifts, in order for that to manifest and take place, there has to be a yielding to the spirit. Hear this, Acts chapter 3, verse 16. He said what? And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong whom you stand up. 
Yes, yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness of the presence of you all. Glory to God. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 19. You've heard this scripture quoted before. Do not quench the spirit. Do not quench the spirit. But I'm making the point to you all tonight, beloveds, that we need, we have to have a yielding to the spirit of God. Glory to God. And as Peter explained about the healing of even of the lame man, the key, the key, the key to exercising the spiritual gift is what? It's faith in Jesus Christ. And in its fullness sense, faith means what? To trust in the Lord and reliance upon him. You can write that down. Faith means to trust the Lord and have reliance in him. When we have reliance in him, that means we are completely dependent upon him. Glory to God, no matter what situations or circumstance may come in our life, uh, may seem to appear or may even be, we got to still yet trust him. God told us he wants us to stand. And after we stand all we could do stand, he wants us to continue to stand anyway. Glory to God, rely upon him, depend upon him. And then, and then instead of depending on our own abilities, we must depend on God. We must depend on God. Instead of us boasting on our qualifications, on our accomplishments, we must boast about the what? The death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And instead of developing uh, clever, intricate strategies for spiritual achievement, guess what? We must appropriate victory, the victory that Jesus has already won for us. Instead of us even trying to trust our background, knowledge, or experience, we must rely upon the work of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the risen Lord. Instead of us quenching the Spirit, we must yield to the Spirit. Relying on the Holy Spirit requires of us what? Humility, readiness, and yielding. Relying on the Holy you can write that down. Relying on the Holy Spirit requires humility, brokenness. And yieldedness when we rely on the Holy Spirit. Again, relying means what? You're trusting. You're depending. Your life depends on it. Glory to God. Amen. Relying on it. Glory to God. The whole, it requires us to be humble, have humility, a broken, contrite heart, and yielding to his will. Not our will, but his will being done in our lives. Humility is a vital, it's, it's vital, beloved, in the exercise of all spiritual gifts. Humility is vital in the exercise of all spiritual gifts and abilities. Amen. I'm going to go to Romans chapter 12. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Romans chapter 12 and verses three through six. Listen to what the word of God says. It says, why well, say, Amen. Through the grace given unto me, to every man that's among you, not to hear this, not to think highly of himself more than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, all members have not the same office. Mm. So we being many members, we being members, uh, 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 in one body and all members that have not the same office. So we being men and members, or I'm at verse five, have, have one body of Christ and even one member of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us where, where the prophecy let us prophesy according to what? To the proportion of our faith. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Look what 1 Peter, even in uh, chapter 5, verses 5 and 6 tells us. It tells us this. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another. Be clothed with humility. For what? God resisted the power, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you, glory to God, in due time, in due time. Thank you, Lord, in due time. Thank you, Lord. For it is near to those who have a broken heart 
Glory to God and save such as have a contrite spirit. Psalms 34 and 18. I beseech you, therefore, brother, in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, by the mercies of God, did we do what? Did we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service? Glory to God. Listen, humbleness, brokenness, and yieldingness, those are important in all aspects of Christian life. But these attributes are particularly vital in allowing God's spirit to work through us. Thank you, Lord. And we should neither be proud nor self-rejecting, but simply unconscious of self. Glory to God. We got to be unconscious of self. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We need to have a hunger for the things of God and a sincere love for the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Listen, beloved. Amen. We must repent of sin. Amen. And pursue holiness and ask what we need to ask the Lord to reveal and remove secret, even impurities in our life. Glory to God. We should periodically uh, evaluate, encourage our motives. Amen. We should develop a habit of prayer and a continuing attitude of to the prayer. Self-discipline and self-denial. Self-discipline and self-denial should become guideline principles of our life. And fasting is an important practice in this regard. We cannot earn favors from God through spiritual efforts. I say that again. You cannot earn favors from God through spiritual efforts. But these attitudes and disciplines will help us minimize worldly influences and maximize God's influence. Thank you, Lord. And that's what we want to do. Glory to God. Develop a, 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 a habit of prayer. Glory to God. Fasting. Glory to God. Laying before the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. And as we lay, listen, and as we lay aside selfish desires and fleshy lusts, we will become more sensitive and open to the things of God. Amen. And, and, and learning to walk by faith and to yield to the spirit, it's a process. Glory to God. We grow in grace and in the knowledge. We grow in grace and in knowledge. We grow in grace and in knowledge. Thank you, Lord. Second uh, Peter chapter three, verse 18. Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Now listen, it's not difficult to, uh, uh, to allow God to work through us, but it does in fact take mental, emotional, and spiritual adjustment. Glory to God. We must lay aside fear. Glory to God and lay aside doubt and let the spirit uh, uh, flow through us. Glory to God, right? Romans chapter 2. Let us lay aside every weight. Glory to God. Lay aside. What's up? What are some of those weights? What? The weights are the things in life that do that can hinder you. Glory to God. Fear, yeah. doubt. And we got to let the Spirit of God just flow through us. Glory to God. And the same, hear this, the same principles are even to uh, at work as when we first received the Holy Spirit and even spoke a tongue, maybe. And the gift of the Holy Spirit comes how? By grace through faith. And after people receive it, they are invariably uh, uh, acknowledge how simple it is to receive it. Some pray. Some pray many times, oftentimes, hear this on today, for many hours, however, before being baptized with the Holy Spirit, not because of the experience uh, uh, itself is difficult to receive, but because they must fully repent, learn to put away guilt, fear, and doubt. And we got to accept the gift by what? By the active present faith, yielding their minds and bodies to God's control. Thank you, Lord. Listen, when God first begun to use us in a certain way, and you can, and I can reflect and even look back even on this, even with myself, my personal experiences, uh, often we were nervous, hesitant. You were fearful, afraid of the unknown, afraid of rejection, afraid of what you thought somebody was going to even think or, 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 or what type of perception that you they would have of you, uh, afraid of maybe even being out of order. And when they overcame these fears, and I remember even myself, when I overcame those fears and acted in faith, then the spirit of God, the spirit flowed freely through. Glory to God. And often you just need a little confirmation or an encouragement to just surrender completely. Amen. Focus on focus on the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, it, 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 it's possible for a person to operate a certain gift only once. 
Mm -hmm. But typically what happens is oftentimes people will operate the same gift repeatedly. Off, once they've overcome the initial hesitation and when they step out by faith and surrender themselves to God, it's much easier for God to use them again in the same way. Nevertheless, we should not allow ourselves to get in a rut either as an individual or even as churches. And if we've been used in a certain way before, we should not automatically assume that God will use us instead of someone else the next time. Glory to God. God can use whom he will or may. And likewise, if God has frequently used another church member in a certain way, we shouldn't assume that he is the only one God wants to use even in that way. And instead, hear this on tonight. Each time God moves, and in each time a need arises, all of us should be seeking after God to be sensitive to his will and his work at that particular moment. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And that brings me to my next point, operating in the gifts. Operating in the gifts. This is all a part of uh, the exercise. Of the, uh, exercise. You must understand the operating of the gifts. First Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 4 and 14 in the first verse says it like this. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I become as a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Glory to God. Going down to chapter 14 and verse 1 of 1 Corinthians, we, God's letting us know we need to pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. Thank you, Lord. Speak to us, Lord. The most important thing that we could uh, could say about the exercise of spiritual gifts is that we must operate them in love. If we're going to exercise spiritual gifts, they must be operated in love. Yeah. Amen. To God. And in the middle uh, uh, of the discussion, even of super uh, spiritual supernatural gifts. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse through verse 14, one entire chapter, one entire chapter is devoted to the subject of love. You can write this down. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Devoted to the subject of love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. That whole chapter is devoted to the subject of love. Devoted to the subject of love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll give you all a moment to write. I, I, I see people writing. Amen. That's fine. Glory to God. Amen. Go ahead on and write. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, one of the most beautiful passages uh, also, uh, of scripture is often quoted for his teachings, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, uh, and love in, and, and in general. And it's rightly so. Uh, yet we should not forget that the most its most immediate application, even though it talks about love and whatnot, is what is in the context. It talks about love and in the context of spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. All right, write that down. Uh, we, we we actually discussed that in pre, a previous Bible study, I believe a couple weeks ago, but I want you to just put a footnote on that in regards to that, to review it for yourself. Amen? Glory to God. And in another case, hear this here, hear this on tonight. Uh, Pastor learned uh, that, uh, uh, that, a, that a family in his church was contemplating an action of which he disproved. And he told them that God had spoke to him about the matter and implied that if they act contrary to the pastor's wishes, that death might fall on the family. Mm -hmm. Another situation. A church member began uh, giving private prophecies of doom to others in the church, telling one person in poor health that this individual was going to stop but without offering any constructive reason why God would disclose such information to them. And in each case, there was an alleged use of a spiritual, uh, spiritual gifts, but no purpose for edification, exhortation, comfort, and not as an expression of love for others. 
even listen, even if some of those statements contain an element of truth, they were not made in a redemptive, constructive way with respect to the love, uh, uh, and respect and love for everyone involved. Instead, these actions only damaged uh, uh, individuals or the congregations. That's not operating. Amen. Amen. And, uh, it's, it's spiritual gifts and love. Look, look at what 1 Corinthians 14, verses 31 through 33 and verse 40 says. It says it like this. It says, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. But God, hear this on tonight, but God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in the church of the saints. And he goes on to say in verse 40, let all things be done in decency and in order. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. See, the gifts of the spirit, the gifts of the spirit are subject to the control of the youth. The gifts of the spirit are subject to the control of the ears. Listen, when God gives gifts, he does not override the human will. All right? We still retain the choice to use the gifts properly and properly. And he expects us to use them appropriately. But God is bestowed on us. He expects us to use it appropriately he expects us to use it in other words in the right way glory to god glory to god and i mentioned to you they said he does not override human will notice what he said amen in romans chapter uh uh he said whosoever will whosoever will come unto me romans chapter 10 i believe it is right amen amen we if we come unto him it's not going to cast us out glory to god matter of fact i'm gonna go there amen i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go there real quick amen romans chapter I believe it's chapter 10. Chapter 10. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. It's verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, it is, shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Whosoever. Amen. Shall call upon the name of the Lord. Amen shall be saved. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Listen, the, this principle holds uh, true for all the blessings of God, including uh, uh, life itself in regards to our health, in regards to our material possessions, in regards to your finances, in regards to your talents, your abilities, your ministries, positions of leadership, and supernatural gifts. Some people assume, hear this on tonight, some people assume that because the gifts of the Spirit are supernatural, recipients have little or no control over them. They think that God overwhelms recipients so that they act almost unconsciously in a trance, a robotic state. But God always respects human personality and will. Amen. For he created us how? In his image, as, 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 as Genesis tells us, right? As what? Intelligent, rational, moral beings with the power of choice, with the power of of choice glory to god amen that if thou shalt confess in romans chapter 9 if you do it amen if you make the decision to do it glory if you confess i'm I, i'm in the book amen if you believe amen mm -hmm. if, you've got to do something amen for whosoever mm -hmm. romans chapter 10 13 if whosoever call upon the name of the lord shall be saved my God, glory to God, amen. So God has given you, beloved. We're speaking to somebody else tonight. He's given you the power of choice. And the question is, amen, are you going to make the right choice? Amen, to make yourself a man that God could use you in a mighty, uh, amen, uh, way. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Through and by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. In all manifestations, all manifestations, the recipient, all right, must will do what? The recipient of the spiritual gift must what? Yeah. But God still allows them to retain a degree of control. And as an inevitable a consequence of this freedom of choice, there's always a potential for abuse. 
times. I've seen it happen so many times. Amen. Have uh, false preachers, uh, teachers, amen. Uh, the, the televangelists coming across airways, amen. Yeah. Tell all kinds of stupid, foolish stuff. Yeah. That's abuse and misuse. Yeah. Listen, as an Old Testament example, give you an example. Old Testament example God gave Moses to do a power to bring forth water out of a rock for Israel. And on yeah. So God told Moses to speak to the rock. Instead, what did Moses do? Rose, Moses struck the rock in anger and at, at the rebelliousness of Israel. And since Moses disobeyed God in that manner, what did God do? God did not allow him to you see the promised land. Amen. Numbers chapter 20, verses 7 through 12. You can read it for yourself. And because of the possibility of misuse, uh, 1 Corinthians. 432 says what? And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Listen, humans cannot control or dictate to the spirit of God, but the spirit works through human spirits and humans exercise control over their own spirits. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Uh, God retains ultimate control, ultimate control over the stole of spiritual gifts, but he humans great freedom regarding their use and listen while we can't determine who received what gift we, we and while we should not even try to force certain gifts to operate when and where and how we desire we do have a personal responsibility to use the gifts as god has intended not for our glory but for his glory for the edification of what of the body what body the body of christ and with all love for all concern glory to god Amen. Speaking in tongues is, in fact, a good example. It comes as the Spirit gives utterance. Acts chapter 2, verse 4 tells us. Not by no human learning or imitations of sound. Amen. Uh, not, not, not by somebody. And I've seen people, uh, not in person, but I've seen people do this, uh, you know, even online, you know, going to teach, uh, going to give people a command to, to start speaking in uh, a, a, a holy language. All right. Uh, as they say, or start speaking in tongues. You know, I'm telling you when to speak. All right. No, it comes as the, the word of God says it comes as the spirit of God gives us utterance. And if it mm -hmm. and if it comes any other way, it's a lie and it's false. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come as the spirit of God has given utterance, as the spirit of God has has commanded or instructed it to operate at the time that he's decided it's, it's false. Listen, when someone first received the Holy Spirit, he uh, may uh, he may uh, speak in tongues as, as an initial sign. And in most cases, he, he may uh, speak uh, in tongues from time to time, even in his private devotion, uh, her pro uh, devotional life. And as he grows in the Lord, he can learn to yield to God and pray earnestly so that he'll speak in tongues of God often if God uh, so desires him to do through and by the Spirit. Listen, while the utterance continues to come from God, the individual could create con uh, con con uh, conditions conducive to speak in tongues, and therefore he has a responsibility to exercise this gift appropriately. Glory to God. And we talked to you about how you could do that. I'm going to stop right there. I have a lot more notes, but I'm going to I'm going to share some more stuff with you. Uh, uh, but I want you to just continue writing and just take it down. All right. Uh, even to uh, some. Uh, may, uh, uh, if you will, some will uh, stop uh, any, uh, uh, some will say like this, uh, God will stop any misuse of gifts. Uh, mm -hmm. Some cite abuses as evidence as they, they claim uh, spiritual manifestations are false. And some even may uh, 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 use abuses even to, to advocate that we should not seek any supernatural manifestation. Help us, Lord. But glory to God. But the antidote, hear this on today. The antidote, what's the remedy? What's the, what's the solution? What's the answer? But the antidote to misuse and abuse is to not disuse, but to proper use. All right? Uh, I submit to you, beloveds, also too, that moreover, thank you, Lord. Amen. Such people simply even don't even understand how God operates. Amen. He was, listen, God responds to faith 
wherever he finds it. You can write that down. Write that down. Oh, thank you, Lord. God responds to faith wherever he finds it. He fulfills his word. Thank you, Lord. He fulfills his word to everyone who will invoke it. Glory to God. And when we talk about it, both, that means glory to God. If you listen, if you're in this, if you're in, if the spirit of God is in on the inside of you, when you invoke God's word, when you speak his word, glory to God, he will fulfill it. He will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what did I say? I said, I start off saying what? He, God, uh, he responds to faith wherever he finds it. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. He fulfills his word to everyone who invokes it. Glory to God. And when he grants a gift, hear this on today. You can write this down. Write this down in your footnote. When God grants a gift, he also gives the authority and the responsibility to use that gift. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. God. Jesus taught do not give that which is holy to the dogs now, nor even cast your pearls to the swine. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Matthew chapter uh, 7, verse number 4. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. What was he doing there? He there he's thereby indicating what? That some use the holy blessings and the spiritual gifts. Their use of it, it's unprofitable. It's unsuitable or detrimental. Paul even wrote uh, 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 of the nation of Israel like this. Amen. He said, for the gifts and callings come without repentance. Romans chapter 11, verse 29. In other words, for gifts and callings of God, they're irrevocable. Glory to God. Help us, Lord. Even though Israel was a nation, as a nation, they failed to follow God's purpose. God continue to work in their midst to bring them back to his plan. Glory to God. Thus, listen, thus a person, get this all tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thus a person uh, 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 can have faith uh, for a genuine miracle from God, but then misuse that miracle to, to try to promote themselves, to try to endorse a false doctrine, to try to even try to seek some type of worldly fame or try to profit materially. Oh, God, help. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. I'll give you an example. Give you an example. An example is the healing of Naaman from leprosy through the ministry of uh, Elisha. Uh, uh, Eli what happened? Elisha refused Naaman's offer for payment. Naaman wanted to pay but Elisha, but Elisha's servant, Gehazi, later, what did he do? He took the money and clothing from Naaman. And therefore, because of the fact that he did that, God imposed divine judgment on him. And you can look it up for yourself in 2 Kings chapter 5. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen, we hear this on tonight. We must not fault God for such abuses and the result of confusion. We must not fault God for such abuses and the result of confusion. God's purpose in granting miracles is always good. God's purpose in granting miracles unto us is always good. Thank you, Lord. And in every case, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. He acts out of grace, responds to our faith, fulfills his word. Glory to God and meets a genuine need. It is, and, and beloveds, I submit unto you all tonight, it's our responsibility to use these gifts in accordance to the guidelines mm -hmm. given us. It's also our responsibility to judge our manifestations, to see whether they are of God. And if there are, to see whether they are used. In fact, we, I, I back you up with, I back this up with scripture. First Corinthians chapter four, verse 29. Also first John chapter four. Four, verse number one. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. See, beloveds, mature Christians, mature mm -hmm. Christians, we can recognize a genuine move of God. Glory to God. We can also to acknowledge and also do the fact uh, of a genuine, also to a manifestation without accepting a mistaken 
uh, interpretation or use of it. For I'll give you an example. For instance, we can re- they could uh, 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 a mature Christian could recognize a divine healing, but reject the claim of extra biblical authority by a person who for the healing, even to some manifestations of uh, 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 fleshly, demonic, a uh, 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 fake. But sometimes a genuine spiritual work is used inappropriately. For instance, let's let's give let's use this for an example. Let's say if God uh, grants a word of knowledge to a pastor about a serious sin in a church that he leads. God's purpose is to protect the pastor and the church mm-hmm. to restore the sin. Depending on the circumstances, the best you uh, the best uh, uh, use of this knowledge might be for the pastor even to, uh, to consult uh, a counsel, if you will, privately with the wrongdoer. To in fact act. Uh, uh, behind the scenes to manage the damage, to confidently warn another individual who's affected us. Pray, be cautious even until a later time. And it, listen, and if a pastor announces the secret sin to an entire congregation, however, he will probably misuse the word of knowledge. And for this action, my Lord, help us, Lord, will, will likely harm everyone involved without accomplishing God's purpose. Oh, glory to God. And some people, uh, even say that, that when they feel the spirit, they should act without even with restraints or guidelines that will quench the spirit. In opposition to this view, under divine inspiration, Paul wrote this. He wrote this in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 37 and 38. Glory to God. If anyone thinks of himself uh, to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that what? The things which I read are the commandments of the Lord. But if anyone is ignorant, let him be ignorant. See, th- listen, those who are truly spiritual will acknowledge the need for biblical guidance. Not be- It's not because they don't trust the spirit, but because that they do not trust the flesh. God, instead, they depend solely on the subjective feelings and impressions, and they are guided foremost by the objective principles and the instructions, thank you, Holy Ghost, of God's word. Glory to God, realizing that what? That the spirit, thank you, Lord, the spirit who moves upon them has already established, in fact, a, a universal guideline. Glory to God to govern his gift. Glory to God. And notice I said his gift. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And for us to think of any other way of that, amen, it's, it's actually the, uh, you, like you have a mark of ignorance. And we could summarize uh, 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 much of this study uh, by even the following um, ammunition. As Paul talked about in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, he said, let all things be done, what? In decency and in order. Glory to God. And in every, every, in every exercise of a spiritual gift, we should support uh, uh, the church. Glory to God, unity and spiritual leadership. In, in every worship service, we should seek glory to God to maximize the benefits of everyone present believers, even as well as unbelievers alike. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, 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 let's suppose, if you will, uh, someone captures everyone's attention in a public service by speaking t- in tongues real loud, getting everybody's attention. Uh, typically, uh, 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 what happens, a pastor or even worship leader or whoever's in charge, maybe they, they'll allow the person uh, in the operations of tongues and they'll allow also to an interpretation of the tongues. But what if the leader continues on with the order of service or make a deliberate transition to another part of the service? The congregation uh, 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 should follow that direction. They would not be quenching the spirit but they'd be doing all things even in decency and order. And I'm going to give you possible seven possible explanations in regards of the situation. But regardless of which one is correct, hear this on tonight, the church still needs to follow the spiritual leader. For it is he, uh, God, it is, it is his God-given responsibility to direct the overall service. First, the individual who spoke in tongues may simply have received personal blessing. The particular work of the spirit may have been in him alone. The leader, however, sensed in the direction of the Lord 
for the whole congregation and, the, and that leader needs to act accordingly. Secondly, secondly, the individual uh, may have acted uh, out of a mistaken uh, feeling, exercise of zeal, even carnality. And I've seen it even happen, even a demonic influence. My God. And in such cases, the leader has the responsibility to do what? That leader must protect the congregation. Glory to God. And everyone uh, 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 has a responsibility, in fact, to cooperate with the leader. I submit to you thirdly here. It, it, it's possible that even to the, the leader uh, uh, missed the direction of the spirit. In such a case, however, an individual will do an individual may do more harm than good by trying to push the service contract to the leader. And if that happens, what's the result of that? That would be a confusion and division. And most likely the person in spiritual leadership will make the correct decision. But even if he does not, the best way to handle the situation is to, is to cooperate and promote in unity. Listen, God can uh, easily accomplish his purposes in another way, a move upon the leader at a later time, even in a momentary mistake, need not cause any lasting harm. The damage, however, is caused by indecent or disorderly conduct. And oftentimes when that happens, when that transpires and when it takes place, oftentimes the damage can be per permanent. I summarize with you by saying this, each congregation, each congregation, each Christian, we're speaking to somebody on tonight, amen, we should earnestly seek the gifts of the Spirit. And at the same time, as we seek the gifts of the Spirit, Lord, all of us must learn, <clears throat> thank you, Lord, to exercise the gifts of the Spirit, to exercise the gifts of the Spirit. How? According to scriptural principles, with lovingly, decency, and divine order. Lovingly, decency, and divine order. It's got to be in love, decency, mm -hmm. divine order. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop right there. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So I want to continue this co uh, discussion uh, on tonight. If anybody have questions in regards to the lesson, all right, this Mavis Latham. I want to say briefly, I know people who've been going to church 20 years and they know where near spiritually as the people out there on the street. Just because you've been to church 20 years don't mean that you're closer to God or grown spiritually. The Bible says there will be false prophets. And it also say some people will say, Lord, Lord, but I know them not. My second point is, in Exodus, Moses had a speech problem, but he seeked out God and he followed God. So seek out God and follow God. God bless you. God bless you so much. Any other questions or comments? Amen. In regards to the lesson, I'm not going to hold uh, Praise the Lord. This is Brother Kramer. Mm-hmm. Amen. Um, one little thing. Um, sometimes uh, one person goes to school and they learn from the Word of God. And I heard someone say, I remember a long time ago, said, uh, learn to be uh, speak, speaking in tongues. I said, that is not real. <laughs> so I, I wonder why, why people get like that, you know, if they don't they don't know understand what it means to be uh, speaking in tongues. If they don't be a uh, doer of the word of God, uh, you know, learn the word of God. Uh -huh. Like the Bible said, instead yeah. of the suffer truth, study uh, self approve not to be ashamed of, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I think. So. <laughs> As long as, listen, see, regardless of what somebody says or regardless of what somebody feels, mm. if, it's, if, the, if, the, if the word of God has given us the descriptions of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the gifts of the spirit, 
amen, the working of the Spirit, amen, and have outlined it to us, amen, uh, in, in, in detail, amen. I receive what the Word of God says, all right? Mm -hmm. Not what somebody else says, not what they believe, uh, not mm -hmm. what Man, the word of God, is my, the word of God is our final authority. It's our Amen. final authority. Glory to God. Glory to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. God bless you, uh, uh, Brother Lester. Amen. This is Brother Latham. Go ahead. Go ahead. God. Yeah, God bless you, sir. Once again, I'm glad the prayers <laughs> went up. Well, uh, first of all, very good lesson, our uh, pastor, bring clarification on the exercise, the exercise of spiritual gifts. I once again want to lift up our uh, Bishop Simmons, you know, in his absence, so he might be on listening to us. So a, a very good lesson for tonight. And my comment, really my comment is is a statement, really. The exercise of the of, of spiritual gifts. Whenever we're talking about spiritual gifts, to me, it takes me right back once again to the day of Pentecost. Well, Jesus Christ said, listen, I got to go just that God will send him. Him who? Him, the Holy Spirit. Now, Jesus said, Jesus, the Son of God, says, because when he come, the things that you see me done, in other words, the, the, the gifts, you see me heal the sick, raise the dead, you see me do these things. Well, when he comes, the Holy Spirit, He's going to show you, teach you, lead you, and guide you how to do this and much more. In other words, he's going to give you what? Power. He's going to give you the power. The power to do what? To exercise the spiritual gift that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus ascended to the heavens, he showered. He showered those that trust and believe in who? Jesus always taught us. And he's teaching us now through his word. It's not my will, but the will of the Father. Anything that I do is because of the Father within me. At this point, we're dealing with the Holy Spirit, the the the, the, the competency of, of the Holy Spirit. Okay, any gift that we're exercising now is because of the Holy Spirit, which gives us the power. Says that who? Says that God will get the glory. Now. <laughs> Just because, just because you laid on hands and this person uh, uh, received a miraculous healing, that really don't mean that you got the gift of healing. That means that God used you at that particular time such that he, God, will get the glory, such that God will be glorified. Get right back to the teachings of Jesus. God gets the glory, not man, not Peter, Mark, and nobody like that. God will get the glory. All through his ministry, Jesus kept reminding us, not my will, but the Father. It's not me that doing these things, but the Father. So we got to keep in mind, although we, we got some that and the, the prophecy, the gift of tongues, the land on hands, even sending the word. That says that who? God, the Father, may be glorified. God bless you. Have a nice day. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I'm to echo what I shared with y'all in the lesson, right? Amen. Amen. He, brought, he brought out a couple of other scriptures too. I, I believe he was, he was talking about uh, where he talks about in the Comforter in John chapter 14. Uh, also too, amen. And also to the, and, and notice what he said there, and I mentioned it to you in the, in the lesson. Uh, amen. God gets the glory. Nothing. Yeah. It's all about God. Nothing of ourselves. We get no glory. We no. Get, get no spotlight. No. Amen. Recognition. But God. No. And that's and that's and that's a lot of what's going on today. Yeah. No, talked about no. tonight. I talked about humble, humility. God's looking for us to have us for to have humility, humbleness. Remember. Humble hearts. Humble hearts. Yes. Humbleness, and we got. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We operate out of uh, 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 that in any way. Yes. We're not in the spirit of God. No. Amen. The spirit, Amen. The spirit itself. Amen. 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 Self, self righteousness. Amen. 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 
after him. Amen. And love. Amen. God bless you, D. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Anybody else? Okay. Have to to the lesson. Come on. Um, Minister Latham. Okay. There's there's a a chapter in the in the Old Testament where Balaam. Mm -hmm. who spoke the man of God was commissioned by the enemies of the Israelites to curse them. But God came and told him, don't curse them because how can you curse someone I have left? So once, twice, three times, Balaam offered money by the opposition to curse the people of Israel. So the third time he went forth to try to curse them, God used a donkey to speak to Balaam. Balaam was on the donkey on his way to curse the people. <laughs> and the donkey saw an angel standing there with a sword. And Balaam was like, why you, why you keep running me into the wall? Why you keep running me into the wall? And the donkey said, don't you see that angel standing in front of us with a flaming sword? <laughs> God will use who he will use to speak. Can't question what or how he will use and in what circumstance he will use different beings that he has created to speak, to give the gift of supernatural speaking. Amen. Because that's a supernatural thing. Anytime the donkey got to <laughs> warn you to save your life, Amen. that you not try to, you should not try to curse what God has blessed. And I know... For a fact, if you want to be used, you have to t I tell God when you're praying, your yes, Lord, use me use in word, me. action, or deed. Yes, Lord. Any way you want to use me, Lord. Yeah, I am. Use me. And and he will use you. You'll be surprised how he uses you. Amen. Amen. Man, God bless you. Amen. Minister Connie went right back to our lesson tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, He will use who He will met. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to make ourselves available uh, to Him. Yes. yes. Make yourself available. Make ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and, and if you want to look at what she was referring to, she was referring to Numbers chapter 22. When you talk about Bill, how Bill rose up in the morning and he saddled his donkey. And, <laughs> all right. Uh, you can read it for yourself. Amen. Amen. It, it, it recorded in history of the word of God. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, Minister Connie. All right. Any else have a question or comment in regards to our lesson? Come on and share. Yes. God bless you, everybody. Bishop Simmons is here. Uh, Brother Lathan, just wanted to let you know uh, for the situation of question. <laughs> uh, thank God for the lesson. Thank God for the subject matter, um, I just want to add this very, very quickly, <clears throat> that uh, one of the things that uh, oftentimes attempt to, um, with great velocity, dismantle um, the plan of God, the power of God, and all of the things. When we talk about spiritual gifts, we have to be extremely careful of pride, we have to be extremely careful not to think um, that it is because of me that something happened or that's, that a, a miracle took place or, you know, and what the devil does mm -hmm. is he swells the head of too many leaders um, and too many individuals who are gifted um, spiritually and otherwise. And then what happens is then the pride comes in and destroys the motive and the method of God. And so I, I say that because um, it has happened since the beginning of time and continues to happen even now in present day ministry. And so even as, as we are individuals and um, some of us, God has bestowed and trusted us with some gifts and um, some of us, and we have to be careful that all of the glory belongs to God. That we, Amen. we yeah. give it to Him. Make sure that we credit Him. That Amen. we make sure that we take no honor, no situation of our own, because yes. we are vessels 
that yes, are sir. privileged yes, that God yes. made a decision to use us. Yes, sir. And yes, as sir. quickly as God appoints a person, um, he can disappoint. All right. Amen. So Amen. 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 The family. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Bishop. God bless. Thank you. Waking up. Oh, thank God. I was cutting out a little bit on the end there. Amen. You. Amen. We got it, though. Got it. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Bishop. Amen. God bless you. And yeah, we saw that at times in the Word of God and uh, uh, how God had raised up uh, leaders and whatnot. Because in the Old Testament, too. And because of they, uh, you know, uh, them not being obedient to God. Just Amen. Raise them up, allow them to be taken down. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. He has no yes. respect for the person. No. This is done as he's done it to people in times past, as he's done it to people that we've even seen in mind mm. that have had, uh, I, I don't care if it's been small ministry, mega ministry, it doesn't matter. It doesn't and, matter. We do not uh, keep God in the forefront. Mm. Humble ourselves before his mighty hand. Humbleness. Just as high as you sit up, God will allow mm. you to fall down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. So, and, you know, and people, and, and you know what, truth be told, they won't say it, but people love a fall. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Love this. Yeah. Mm hmm. They, they love that. They love the truth of the matter. They never said to your face, mm -hmm. they'll mock in your calamity. They'll mock in your calamity, oh, man. But uh, just as Bishop said, we got to keep our we just got to be just continue to be uh, focused, amen. And, 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 and mm -hmm. led by the Spirit of the Lord, he said, We those that are led by the Spirit of God, we are. The sons of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God be good. We lead him. And lead means he's, he's showing us the way. And so, in order for you to get the way they're trying to get you to, you got to follow. Glory yes. to God. Amen. 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 If you ain't following, glory to mm. God. Amen. We just think, mm. absolutely. Amen. 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 God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd just like to um say that, you know, in that, in the gifts, uh, because we're all one body, the body has many parts. Yes, yes. And in those many parts, each part has its own different specific ability. Yes. And, yeah. and with that, we uh when we come together, uh my ability may not be your ability, but if we come together and use it in unison, yes, yes, and that's what what happens is it builds the body. Yes. So in that is the encouragement. If my hand is doing something and my mm. eyes see it, I want to encourage my hand to pick it up. <laughs> All right. Amen. 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 Because there has to be encouragement. Well, I recognize my hand's ability. I can see it, but I can't touch it. Mm. Mm. Uh, I can see it. My hand can touch it, but it can't get to it unless my feet walk me to it. All right. Amen. All right. All right. So the body has to understand the abilities and the different gifts that each other have because we're one body in Christ and just encourage in that gift and okay. not to discourage the gift, mm. but to encourage Oftentimes, yeah. we will find even in uh, we mentioned big church, little church. We'll find that uh, one will be given a gift, and that gift may not be uh, because they don't want that hand to touch it. I see it, but I want to be able to touch it too. But it's not God is giving it to the hand to touch, and not to your eyes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. If that makes any sense, so God is telling us, I need it to be in unison i need it to be working together because yeah. it, it is me for me to get the glory just because you see it uh i still need the hand to touch it i don't mm. want to use you for everything because then you will get a me 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 mine 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 no. attitude amen all right so i'm using all 
for it to work together for my, like you said, for his glory, all glory will go to the father. You yes, know, sir. that we don't want, because he don't want us to get the, the, the big head. That's right. You know, because mm -hmm. we can't, we can't fathom his thoughts. We can't walk in completely in his ways. So sometimes he just, he, just be still and mm -hmm. see the hand of God. All right. Amen. You know? Amen. Um, Amen. Good. All Amen. right. All right, Minister. Amen. Amen. What, what, Minister Best, what he was referencing was uh, <laughs> touched on it. <laughs> Previous uh, Bible study lessons in regards to the Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 12. Amen. 12, 12. And what is that letting us know, beloved? Just as he was talking about there. See, every, you know, uh, Putting it in comparison to the human body, that's one thing, right? We're yeah. One body, one person, all right? That's yeah. true, even though our body's made up of different parts. But guess what? Each part of the body, of your physical body, all right, just using it as, you know, as he said, it's comparison to, uh, it, it contributes to the overall function of the body as a whole, all right? Uh, Amen. It's like he alluded to. My eye, as good as my eye is, might be pretty. Mm. So it could, it mm. might look sharp, but it cannot do. It will never do what the hand could do. Amen. Amen. It can do what the eye can do. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, and Paul said, "This is uh, this is true, even of the uh, uh, body of Christ." That's what it, in First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twelve. He said, "What for? As, huh? as the body is one, and have many members." And all the that one body being made one uh, being made of what with one body, glory to God. So also is Christ. You don't have a complete body unless unless everything's there. Glory That's right. Everything's got to be there. Everything's got to be connected. Glory Everything. To glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't connected to the body. I ain't part of the body. It, it, mm, it, mm -mm. Connected, right. Come on. Amen. Amen. We us, us, us. Amen. 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 We children of high God. We got to realize and understand, amen, that we're connected. Amen. 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 By the spirit of the most high God. Amen. Glory amen. Man. And, and, and us being connected. That's, see, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and we talked, we talked about this too. See, that's what the enemy wants. And I said that even tonight in the, in the, in the lesson. Uh, he wants the enemy. Uh, God said, "What? He's not the author of confusion." No, no. Amen. God, guess what? We gonna and there's gonna be times we in the natural. We gonna disagree. Yes. But we but we gotta learn learn how to disagree amicably. You know. Uh, you know. Yes. Not holding stuff against each other, getting the attitudes. We, you know, yeah, that's a trick of the devil. I yes, sir. It is. He's the yes. He wants to kill, steal, destroy. Oh, yes. That's his job. We might have it life and life more abundantly. Glory Thank you, Lord. Abundant life. Amen. Oh, yeah. I, don't yeah. want, I don't want anything, nor anyone. Glory to God. Help me, Lord. Amen. Amen. To, 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 to any way try to hinder me. Amen. For walking in the spirit of the Lord. Amen. All right. Amen. He's first and foremost in my life. I pray he's first and foremost in yours. I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Because if we walk after that spirit of the Lord, Amen. We talk. Amen. Amen. We won't be fulfilling no. Amen. God said the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, praise the Lord, everybody. God praise bless you, dear. Very, very good lesson. I'm not going Amen. to elaborate. You know, we talk about the different bodies, but what's doing the bodies together is the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Don't sell that Holy Spirit short. No, sir. That's what makes us become one is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But I got a, a report about Cousin Jackie. Amen. Uh, I spoke to Elsa. I don't want to get off the lesson. Amen. You know, but I spoke to Elsa. And one of the situations is they waiting on the biopsy. 
they took a biopsy of the, the saw that was on his body. My Lord. And the turmoil is they waiting on the results of that to see if it's cancerous or not. Right. Mm. So we want to pray that it don't come back cancerous. All right. Amen. Amen. She was in very good spirit. And uh, she let me know, you know, she said, well, Nate, if anything had been out of the way, I'd have been and got in touch with you. Because like I said, we like brothers, uncles, nieces, nephews, pastors mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. You know, but she says that as of now, we have nothing to worry about. They're waiting for the biopsy to come back. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you all. So we're gonna, Amen. So we're going to continue to pray. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God, you, Lord. To pray without ceasing. Amen. Yes, Amen. sir. We're believing uh, God for. Uh, uh, one more thing. Amen. You did mention in the lesson tonight. About I spoke about it yesterday on the prayer call. Fasting. Fasting. People, we pray, but let's Amen. fast as just as much as we pray. Absolutely. And we want to remind Amen. family and friends too. Amen. Those of you that may be listening. Amen. You if the Lord leads you and directs you, amen, to fast, amen, on a particular time. Uh, uh we encourage you to do that. Be led of the Lord in doing that. Uh, but we 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 particularly uh, uh, choose to try to fast together on Fridays. All right. So those Amen. Can, Amen. You know, even medical issues where you may need to replenish your body with sustenance. Amen. Mm -hmm. And do that. We don't want to discourage you from doing that, but uh, we want to encourage you. Amen. For as often as we do. Amen. He told us these things come through it by fasting and praying. Fast and pray. Amen. Even on this Friday, and even in the Fridays to come, Amen. If God be your help, yeah. let let let's let's fast together. Even if you could do it for just a, a, a hour, or a couple of hours, or six hours, eight hours, hours, however long as you could do it. If it's unto the Lord, Amen, Amen. Yeah. God, amen. I will acknowledge that, Amen, Amen, and He and He get the glory out of that, Amen. Lord, amen. God bless you. Amen. Anybody mm -hmm. in regards to the exercise of the spirit, the exercise of the spirit, amen, before we close out, any questions or comments, uh, either if or if, if not, we're going to get ready to close out. Thank God for all of you on tonight. Mm -hmm. Those that may be watching this recording, we pray that this and many other ble uh, Bible studies are a blessing to you. And I would like you to do us a big favor. Don't forget, amen, to uh, like, share, subscribe, mm -hmm. and to our YouTube channel. Amen, amen, amen. You go to shallow temple. Well, you actually, uh, uh, you may be watching this on YouTube. Amen. But please do like, share, subscribe. Amen. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah. And do us a big favor share it with somebody else. Amen. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. I was going to sing that song. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You're in the Newark, New Jersey area. We want to invite you to come fellowship with us. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Sanctuary, Shallow Temple, 547, 519th Street in the Amen. Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. Amen. The feast of the Lord is going on. Lord Amen. 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 Right. Listen, it's been wonderful. I got um I got a a, a, a quick question. I don't know. Um if anybody want to join in, uh, I am doing prayer this week. I want to join in and and, and and praying. I'm looking for some prayer warriors. Come on and just, uh, you know, pray. We uh, from uh, 7 in the morning till 7.30, or you can come on from 6 at night to 6.30. Right. Amen. On the Facebook. Yeah. Monday through mm. Friday. And it's the best of doing that Monday through Friday. So reach out to him. Amen. Uh, him a call or send him a message or DM. Amen. Amen. In regards to that, so he could put you on the schedule. Amen. To pray and go before the Lord. Amen. But yeah. people of God online. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. If all minds and hearts are clear, we're going to get ready to close out in prayer. I'm going to ask on tonight. Amen. We're going to ask our prayer warrior. Amen, amen. One of our prayer words. Minister Larry Best, if you take us out in prayer on Amen. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We know the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. We know the highest praise we can give him is a hallelujah. Yes. And I do believe in, in this yes. period of time, I believe that he, he is worth more than a hallelujah. So All we right. just give him a hallelujah even before we start asking for anything. Just praise him. Hallelujah. Right. Before we come praise before him. him. Let's yes, praise him. Lord, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we Lord. glorify you. Yes, Lord, we Lord, thank you for Lord. being God and God all by yourself. Lord, we thank you for Lord. giving us the, the, Lord, the knowledge, Lord, Father God. And, oh, Lord. God, whatever the situation Lord, may be, Father Lord. God, you still sit on the throne. You are still in control. So, oh, God, we give you glory. We praise you on today, Father God. Oh, God, for you are so good to us. You're even better to us than we are half the time to ourselves, Father God. Oh, God, but we're acknowledging, hallelujah, you heard prayers that went forth even prior to this study, Lord. Hallelujah. Let that, oh, God, let your ears be attentive as we continue to cry out. We continue to pray, hallelujah, for uh, a Brother Frankie, a Brother Jackie. Oh, God, continue yeah, to pray for uh, 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 Wanda yeah, Staples, uh, 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 Bishop yeah, Simmons, Father God. Hallelujah. Yeah, Let your ears, oh, God, we cry out, Daddy. Give the family strength. Daddy, Father, yeah. Father, Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our yeah. spiritual yeah. Father yeah. crying out, Lord, yeah. we need yeah. you. God, on every step. Hallelujah. Open the eyes of our heart that we can see. Hallelujah, yes, the things that you have yes, planned for us. Continue yes, to work with us. Continue to bring us in unison, Father God. In the yes. name of you, oh God, continue to, oh God, allow us yes. to speak life into our own lives. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh God, but we know that the power of life and death is in the tongue. Yes. Oh God, so we come before you, Father God. Oh God, not by might, not by power, but oh God, by your spirit, Lord. By your spirit. Yes. Right now, Father God, oh God, your word says that well, whatever we find on earth shall be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus. We're binding up separation. We're binding up confusion. Hallelujah. We're binding up sadness. In the name of Jesus. We're binding up, oh God, oh God, anything that's not of you. We're binding up cancer. In the name of Jesus. We're binding up, oh God, kidney failure, kidney disease. In the name of Jesus, Father God. We bind it up right now, Father God. Oh God, we're looking to the which coming for our help. Oh, hallelujah. We know that our help, oh God, comes from you. Hallelujah. No, God, no other help. We know, hallelujah. Oh, God, we need you. As we deal in these perilous times, going to the families. Oh, God, going to the families that are under the sound of my voice, Father God. Oh, God, right now, pour out a special blessing. Hallelujah. On yes, pour out a special blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, God, on our brother Jackie. Hallelujah. That the, when the report comes back, Hallelujah. Yes. It will show no signs of cancer. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we speak it, Lord. Oh, God, even yes. though we know, hallelujah, that it is your will to be done, hallelujah, yes. we asking you for mercy, Father God. Yes. Oh, God, extend the hand of mercy, mercy, mercy. Hallelujah. Yes. Have mercy, Jesus, Son of David. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on your son. Hallelujah. We're praying. Oh, God, for that. Hallelujah. Paradise Munoz. Hallelujah. Michelle Munoz. Oh, God, open up the heavens and pour out a blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for you are the great I am. You are the great physician. There's nothing that you can't do, Father God. Oh, God, your word said that those who diligently seek you, oh, hallelujah, that you will be, that you are a rewarder of those that diligently seek you, Father God. But we're seeking, oh, God, not on our behalf, but we're seeking, oh, God, a blessing. Hallelujah. On the leaders. Hallelujah of this land today. Hallelujah. That be Russia, Ukraine, China. That be Israel. Hallelujah. That be the Hamas nation. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, touch it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you have the power to speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, and it shall be done. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you the honor to do it. Even though we're departing off of this study, Father God, but never from your presence. Hallelujah, because you gave us a promise that you would never leave us and you would never forsake us. Hallelujah. So we're going to continue to walk. We're going to continue to talk. We're going to continue to acknowledge. Hallelujah, that you are our God. Hallelujah. And no other God that we know. Hallelujah. We're depending on you as 
we cry out from the depths of our heart. Forgive us, Lord, Father God. Oh, God, and let us have sweet sleep on tonight, Father God. Oh, God, let us rest in peace, Father God. Oh, God, no, oh, God, no, oh, hallelujah. Right now, we bind up in the spirit, in the satanic spirit, in the spirit of witchcraft. Hallelujah. In the spirit that wants to come up against us in our sleep, Lord. Hallelujah. We speak it. Oh, hallelujah. We bind it up. Hallelujah. Oh, God, let your angels encompass us, even in our sleep, Father God. That no hurt, harm, and danger will come upon us on tonight. Hallelujah. As we sleep, Father God. Oh, God, we're praying that, oh, God, each and every one of us under the sound of my voice. Ooh, yes. hallelujah, that you would continue to breathe your breath in us in our nostrils yes. in the morning, that we would wake up with gladness in our heart. We wake up with joy yes. in our heart. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Thank we you, thank Lord. you, Lord. We glorify yes. you because thank even you. as my Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior yes. hung on the cross. Hallelujah. Yes. Hung his head. He said it is finished. And he mimicked the words, yes. forgive them, yes. Father, for they know not what they do. So we're praying yes. for forgiveness even for the sinners on today. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes. Jesus, yes, Lord. Glorify you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We trust you. Healing, healing. It is done. It is done. Hallelujah. I hear the word of God. He said, Oh, hallelujah. Son, thou art here. Son, that I heal. Hallelujah. Son, thou art here. Hallelujah. Yes, restoration, yes, restoration, God. restoration. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. The bodies yes. will be strengthened. Those yes, that are weak, yes, the yes, bodies yes, will be strengthened yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, oh God, legs will be strengthened. Oh God, hearts yes, will be strengthened, Father God. Oh God, callousness will be removed yes, from the heart. Yes, Anger, yes, envy, bitterness. Yes, Hallelujah. We speak yes, against it on tonight in yes, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, do it. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Worship you. Glorify your name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you right now, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This has been one. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Pray for mm -hmm. be upon you. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Good night, all. God bless you. Good night, Pastor. Good night, everybody. Good night.